Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. Today in this tutorial we will create this model in FreeCAD using Design Workbench. So first here go to FreeCAD and create a new document. Click on this plus icon and now switch to Design Workbench. And create a new body and a new sketch in Axi Plane. In this sketch here we will draw a cycle. So what to do, go to Sketch Geometers and select Cycle Tool. And now draw a cycle in this origin point. And now we'll set the diameter of the cycle. So first select this constraint diameter cycle and click in this cycle. And now let's go to this drawing page and the diameter of this cycle will be 100. So change here to 100 and now click in this button to leave this sketch. And now press home and select pet tool to make the extrusion of the cycle. And first here we'll check these options, similar to plane, and the length of this that operation will be 40. So change the length here to 40 and now click OK. And next here, what we'll do, we'll create this pocket here and this pocket. So what you need to do here is to create a new sketch, click on this icon, and for this sketch select why is the plane. Click on this icon to switch to section view and now select select polling tool and draw this sketch. Press M three times to get this arc and now two times to draw this line. And now click on this point. Okay. And next here we'll draw this section. We'll draw this sketch here. So first here select polling tool. And now click in this horizontal line and draw this sketch. Okay, and next here select horizontal constraint and set this line horizontal and this line here horizontal. And next select equal constraint and we'll make these two lines equal and these two lines equal okay and the next here what we'll do we'll extract the edge of this part here so select external geometry tool and extract this edge here okay and next here select this constraint here select this center point and now this vertical line and for these two lines here we'll set tangent constraint Okay, and now just select these two points and set horizontal constraint. Okay, and next select smart constraint tool and make these two end points similar to this vertical line. Okay, and and we'll do the same for these for these two points here and these vertical line. Okay. And next here we can set the dimension of the sketch. So first here we'll hide these constraints here. Click on this icon here. And now let's go to this ring page. And as you can see here we have this angle here. 7 degrees. So first here we'll select this angle constraint tool. And now select these two lines and set 7. Okay. And next we'll set the rest of this arc here. So select this constraint here and click on this arc. And the range of this arc here is 4, so set 4 here and enter. Okay, and now select vertical distance tool, select this origin point and this point here. And the distance here will be the half of 8, so it will be 40. Okay, and now select this point and this point here. And the distance here will be will be 15 this dimension here so set 15 here and now for this line here what we'll do we'll set we'll set a length of 25 the half of this dimension 25 here and now select horizontal distance tool and now we'll set the horizontal dimension of this sketch here so first here we'll select this this line here and the dimension of this line here as you can see is this dimension here okay and for this line here we'll set 40 okay and now we have this sketch full concerning it so click on this icon to leave this sketch and now here we'll use the groove tool so first here select this 
icon click on this icon and change the axis here to y axis and now click ok now as you can see we have this and the next step here is to create this pocket here so first here what you need to do is to select this face here and create a new sketch in this face switch to section view and now here in the sketch geometry select centered rectangle and now click in this vertical line and click in this horizontal line okay and now we'll set the dimension of this rectangle so select constraint distance tool for this vertical line here we'll set the length of 20 this dimension for the horizontal line we'll set 8 millimeters okay and now just select this point here and this point and set horizontal constraint and now just leave the sketch and you create a pocket here change type to true goal and as you can see now we have this and click ok okay and the next here what we'll do we'll create this chamfer here so what to do is select this edge and then this edge here and select chamfer tool the size of this operation is one so you'll set one and click ok and next here we'll create these fillets we'll create this fillet here these two fillets so what you need to do here is to select this face and control select this face here and now click on this fillet icon and the size of this fillet is one so you'll set one and click ok now as you can see we have this part here and the next step here is to create these pockets and these holes okay so what you need to do is to select this space here and create a new sketch in this space okay and now go to sketch geometry select cycle tool and first here we'll draw a cycle in this horizontal line this cycle here and next we'll draw this sketch we'll use a slot tool select select slot tool here and now click in this first call line and click again and now we have this sketch here so next here will set the edge of this arc and the diameter of this cycle so select this cosine diameter and now click in this arc and for this arc here we'll set a range of 80 okay and for this cycle here we'll set a diameter of 5 millimeters click in this cycle and set 5 okay and now we'll set the placement of these center points here so as you can see for these for this arc here we have we have 45 okay so what we'll do we'll select constraint distance tool and now this point here and this center point and we'll set 45 and we'll do the same for this center point and this origin point the distance is, is the same okay and now we have one degree of freedom as you can see we can leave this sketch in this way click on this icon and now create a pocket here click on this pocket icon and change the type to travel and click ok now as you can see we have this pocket here and this hole okay and next here we'll create these another pockets and holes so the way to do that is to go to model and select this pocket and now go to the polar button tool click on this icon and here we need to change the number of occurrence to 10 so change here to 10 and as you can see now we have these we have these model so click ok now and the next thing here is to create fillets in these edges, as you can see here. So first here we need to select this edge and go to the fillet tool. The range of this fillet will be one. So now click on this select button and select all edges.
and now click OK. So this is the final part as you can see. We finished the design of this model. Thank you for watching this video. So if you find this video useful, please like and share this video with your friends. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.